Hi, I'm Jenna Besto and I'm co-founder and CEO of Broadbad. I'm here to talk you through how to use the objectives and key results feature of Broadbad. So let's get going. We've logged in and we've landed on our dashboard. So let's head on over to our product section. Now I'll come back to my entire product portfolio, but before I do that, let me just dive in and show you a little bit more about an individual product. So let's dive into one product that we can see right here. And I've landed on my uh, product canvas here. And from here, I can go straight to my objectives and key results tab or OKRs. So in the objectives and key results section, I can see my objectives. My objectives are these colorful labels with the text below. Uh, this is what you and your teams need to achieve uh, to help solve the right problems for your users. Think of these as your goals. The key results sit below. Think of these as metrics, which are used to measure the impact of your objectives. You and your teams and your company stakeholders can see how each objective is coming along by looking at the progress status of each of the key results. The icon here is gonna tell you whether the key result is on track, whether it's behind or at risk. And so this gives transparency to your entire product team or to your entire team to show as to whether uh, things are progressing the way that they hope to. Remember, you can add multiple key results to each objective. This could provide you further clarity for determining how each objective could be achieved. You can add objectives by picking the label name, the color, and uh, documenting what it is that you actually want to achieve. You'll then be able to select the key result and set its progress status as to whether it's on track, behind, or at risk. You'll be able to change this as things change in your business and check out the contributing roadmap cards option. This allows you to directly assign objectives and key results to your roadmap initiatives, which actually takes us to the next part of this run through, which is the roadmap itself. Here we have the roadmap for our product and you can see that each initiative on the roadmap is actually linked to the objectives that we were looking at in the previous page, um, and which in turn are linked to the key results. And what's more, everyone else in your organization can see why you're working on certain initiatives and how they tie back to the planned objectives. One habit that I see a lot of teams doing is that they'll finish off a project and so they'll close off every ticket in their JIRA they'll wipe down their whiteboards, they'll crumple up all the post-it notes on the wall, and they'll move on to the next thing, which is great for keeping up a, a, an agile cadence, but not very good for proving that they've solved problems. So instead of deleting these cards off your roadmap, take these cards and move them to the completed section of your roadmap. So this completed section of the roadmap allows you to track the success or failure of each of these cards so you know what was actually impactful or not. In this section is a space for tracking what did and didn't work. Uh, each of these cards that has been completed, you can actually see that it, I've tracked which experiments worked or didn't work. Uh, and it opens up a new section in here to track the outcome of each of the cards. So there's an option to talk about what happened and what the outcome was in relation to the initial objective. This helps you learn from each objective and reduce failure going forward. So let's return to the objectives and key results page where you can record the outcomes of your key results as well. You and your teams can learn from the outcomes of each key result. Is there anything you might change next time? What worked? What didn't? Now it's not just at the product level that you can manage objectives and key results. In ProdPad, you can create objectives and key results at the product portfolio level as well. These might be wider business level objectives to help nurture and shape the product lines that sit below. Okay, that's all for now. I hope this gives you a little more information about how our objectives and key results can help you and your product teams align around the same set of goals. Our team of product experts is more than happy to walk you through this in more detail, so just click on the link at the bottom of the page and we'd be happy to get you booked in for a demo.
Thank you so much for watching. Bye.